everybody. So today I just wanted to hop on really quick and do a planner accessories haul for you guys. I have some stickers and I think I only have one thing of washi in my little bag here. This is a Michaels bag, however, I got some of this at Michaels, some of it at Hobby Lobby, and I did get some stuff from Etsy, and then where else did I go? Target. This is like a cumulative. I haven't actually used anything in here yet, but I've kind of been waiting because I wanted to share with you guys. So let's get right into it. Oh y'all, this is gonna be like real annoying, real fast. So, let me take this all out, and I'll organize it, and then we'll talk. Okay, so now that I'm a little bit organized, what I'm gonna do is I wanna start with the Etsy shops first. I only have two orders that came in recently, and I got some from my old faithful this is juice box paper company i absolutely love them i'm gonna link everything if i can find it below a lot of the stuff from my this is my stack of michael's hobby lobby and target this stuff is really hard to find individually but i will link their website below um, in case you can actually find it but anyway but um juice box paper company i love their stuff she's got a ton of stuff that's like very fitness related which i love so um, I got these little stickers, they're just like little page flags that go in the corner that just say no soda. And then these are the um, 30 day challenge, this is the plank stickers, which I absolutely love, I think they're amazing. And then also the, another 30 day challenge for leg raises, so obviously I haven't done these yet, but I'm really looking forward to utilizing them. Okay, so the next thing I got were from Doodlebug Plans, and I did lie, I've actually used one of them, and this is my life planner, and this actually fits perfectly right in your first page, and I love the way that the rainbow scheme goes with the rainbow scheme in here where it says life planner. I just think that's so, so pretty. These are all obviously all customizable, so they do take a little bit of time to get to you, but I definitely think it is worth the wait, and you get a full sheet of stickers. The amount depends, uh, what am I trying to say? The amount of stickers she said depends on the length of your name and I actually have a very long last name but a very short first name so if I were to have a short first name and a short last name I probably would have gotten more stickers but I'm not sure how that would work so um, so you never know how many you're gonna get but I don't know what to do with the rest of these stickers you guys so if you have any suggestions for me on where I can put these stickers in my life please let me know in the comments because I am stuck with all of these beautiful, beautiful stickers but I don't know what to do with them. So, um, like besides labeling my stapler at the office, like I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I think these are gorgeous. I'm gonna leave um, the Doodlebug Plans Etsy shop link below so you guys can check her out. And I just think they're amazing. And I got them in the matte finish, I think, if I remember right, you can get them in a glossy finish too, but there is an upcharge, but she may have taken that feature off, I'm really not sure. But the matte, I think, looks really nice because it's on matte paper and it really blends in very well. So, absolutely love this stuff, go check her out. Okay, so that's it for the Etsy shops. I'm gonna start with Target first because I have been searching for these two little washi tapes for a while now. My Fargo Target just sucks, and I've said that many, many times on this channel. It's not a secret. Um, we have a ton of tourists that come to Fargo because apparently Fargo is the big city in North Dakota. We have a lot of Canadian people that come in and stop in Fargo, but I actually needed to go check out Fargo in Moorhead, which is just right across the river in Minnesota. It's only like 10 minutes away from Fargo. But I went there and they had a huge selection of all of the fall washi that was out. So I picked up two of them. Thank goodness they had them and they had a full stock supply. So I don't know what it is with the Fargo Target. I should just shop at the Moorhead one more often, but I just don't ever get out that way. But anyway, you live and learn, right? So they had these two washies. This one is like all the fall leaves, which I think are just gorgeous. And then this one was the one I really wanted. These are just the little jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. So I will definitely be utilizing this um, come Halloween week. So um, you're gonna get a little preview of some of the stickers that I may or may not use for Halloween this year. So love, love these. And then 
in their greeting card section, this is where I found these two stickers. There's a whole bunch of them. There's actually three sheets. I think three sheets, yeah. Actually, there's four sheets in this one and then three sheets in this one. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the rest of the sheets. I may do a rack or something like that because there's no way I'm gonna utilize all of these for Halloween week. Um, those are the only things I picked up at Target. And then at Michael's, I got a lot, a lot of stuff. So let's just start with the first things first. So I did get this. This is just their like, the Recollections washi crafting tape. Really the only reason I bought it was for this washi, the thinner one that looks like little film strips. I wanna use this when I'm doing filming days, especially like really heavy filming days. I work full time at like a normal job, but um, I do most of my filming on the weekends. So sometimes I literally film all day and other weeks I don't film at all because it just doesn't fit into my schedule, but when I have really heavy filming days, it'd be really nice to kind of mark off my, not entire day, but a good amount of my day so I know not to schedule anything else. This washi with the cameras I think is cute with like all the vintage cameras. I'm really not into it. Um, I'll probably end up doing a rack with it at some point, so um, you know, check out my Instagram. I'll probably be doing a rack on there for stuff at some point, I'm really not sure. So I, I do love this stuff though, I think it's so cute. And then I got a lot, a lot of stickers, you guys. Okay, this is the stack of stickers from Michaels. This is pretty insane. Okay, so I got some red Solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's kind of funny, but I did, so here we go. And I must say, like, before I get this whole party started, it is so difficult now that I've been doing planner decorating, it's really hard to find stickers that are thin, that aren't gonna give your planner a lot of bulk, like not those dimensional stickers. I think it is so, so incredibly easy to find the really dimensional stickers at Michaels and Hobby Lobby and other crafting stores, but to find the thin ones that don't add the bulk, it's really hard to find them, and especially with what you're, you know, like themed stuff for like holidays. I have a bunch of holiday stuff in here, um, which is why it kind of reminded me of that, but it is so incredibly hard to find them. So if you guys know of any good places, even online, besides Etsy, please let me know or send me a link in the comments or something like that because I would love to know where to get some. Um, but anyway, I got the red solo cups. I am going to an event. <laughs> well, it's not really an event, it's a birthday party. Um, but there's gonna be some um, adult beverages happening there in red solo cups, I, I assume. So, uh, so I got these for that event, so I thought that would be kind of fun to plan with these. I also got some Valentine inspired stickers. There's some red and some pink kind of holographic hearts. This one here, oh gosh, it's so hard to see. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, hold on, let's let's move this all out of the way. I'm sorry about that. Okay, here's the red solo cups. <laughs> here's the hearts. Okay, so let's start that over. All right, so here are some bicycles. I thought these were really cool. And again, they're the thin, and there's like the little lines for the actual frame of the bicycle are all kind of different colors, which I thought was really pretty. These were really pretty for the fall. Um, they're kind of just like this gold, nice foiled metallic, and then has nice, really pretty fall colors, which would look coincidentally very pretty with this washi I got at Target. So score. This actually was a little bit dimensional. They do have like layered pieces, but it's not so thick that would give my planner a little bit of bulk, but I thought this would be really cute for Thanksgiving week. Um, it is always cold in North Dakota, so I'm gonna be doing some sort of snowflake theme at some point this upcoming winter. I don't know when, but it's gonna definitely be a snowy week, I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> And then totally polar opposites. This is actually on clearance for 49 cents. And um, this is just kind of an under the sea tropical theme. And then there's just some cute flower stickers. And then there's more on the back side. They're all the same. And then I got a couple shamrocks. And I believe, oh, nope, there's none on the back of that. But just, just got some shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. 
got some cute ladybugs and these are kind of metallic-y so I don't know if that's kind of coming off on camera or not but they're a little bit metallic-y I thought they were kind of cute so probably won't be utilizing these until spring of next year and then again this one was on clearance as well for 49 cents and this is just kind of like a little another little tropical theme with birds and big pretty flowers and such and then I finally found what people on Instagram keep talking about. These are these like dollar sticker books. And I guess they come out with these for most holidays and I hadn't seen them until now. So um, I'm really excited to, to use some of these. So the first one I got was Winter Frost. And the reason that I liked this one is because it wasn't so themey with like just Christmas like I could really use this anytime in the winter slash early spring because honestly it does snow for a very long time here or at least very very cold um, and I like that it's kind of muted colors it's just this really nice green and blue and gray and a little bit of like a creamy tan so I really liked this one a lot the next one I got was, again, not super Christmas related, but still a little Christmas related. Um, this one is more on the vein of snowmen. So again, when it's, you know, colder outside, I'll be using that. I thought these gift packages were kind of cute if I'm gonna go like holiday shopping and stuff to kind of mark those days. But yeah, you get a ton of stickers for the value. So, I mean, I'm really impressed. Um, I don't know how good the quality of stickers are. Why don't I try one and see? Yeah, I mean, they're fine. I don't know. I mean, I wish all stickers were a dollar for a huge book like that. That would be really nice. Um, and then the only one that was really, like, Christmas inspired that I got was this one. And this is the Studio 1225 sticker book. Um, there's a whole bunch of them that were like this, um, but obviously they all have little themes. But this one was more in the vein of toys. So I like that they were kind of like wind up toys and, you know, wooden trains and things like that. So yeah, I thought these were really cute. Really the only time I could use this for a spread would probably be sometime in December. I probably won't use this for the actual Christmas week, but I will definitely use it during the Christmas time at some point because I already have something else planned for Christmas. And then this one is a Halloween inspired one. I don't know why, I just couldn't resist. It was a dollar. As you saw before in my other stuff, I have way too many stickers for the Halloween week. Maybe I'll do two Halloween weeks. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyway, so this one was the Witch's Way sticker book. And I just thought this, thought this one was probably the most whimsical out of all of them. The other ones were like a little bit dark and a little bit more spooky. And um, I don't really, it's not that I don't celebrate Halloween, I like Halloween just fine, but I don't have any kids and I live in an apartment complex and I actually live in a very, very small building that doesn't, I do have one kid in my building, but there's not a ton of tenants. So, and I, this is gonna be my third Halloween here and no one has ever knocked on my door and asked for candy. So, I don't know, I mean, I always have candy just in case, but, um, but I think my planner will get, uh, some use out of the Halloween this year. So maybe it'll give me more of the Halloween spirit, but that, that one was kind of fun. So moving on to Hobby Lobby. Last time I was in Minneapolis, they had just opened up a Hobby Lobby there and my friend and I went in and I bought a bunch of things that were totally unnecessary, but we're just gonna go with it, right? So I found these, I've actually seen these on Instagram on a bunch of planning Instagram accounts. These are the little bee, uh, like just like sticky note tabs that are like little speech bubbles. And these are super cute. I don't think they're all adhesive. I haven't pulled them out yet. 
but um, you can always just take like a little tape runner like I have a little tape runner here from Michaels and like tack down the rest of it if it's not fully sticky I'm not sure if it is or not I really don't want to take them out of the package yet because I'm not ready to utilize them but I think these are so pretty they have all different colors which I think is kind of cool and I like that there's quite a few of them I don't know if you can see the thickness probably not but I mean there's a good amount of them it says there's 150 pieces so yeah I mean I, I think I think it's a good amount so like these think they're great okay so here are all the other stickers that I did not need to buy this um, one these are from Sticko uh, my parents and I have um, some other family members that live in Florida so I thought this would be really cool the next time I'm traveling there um, I will be traveling to Florida when it's Christmas time but I probably won't be utilizing these at Christmas time just because I want to do more of a Christmassy theme but I'll probably be going back in the spring for a wedding so and even if I don't go for a wedding I'll probably go just because so that'll be kind of fun but I'll use this at some point I know for sure these are just some cute little gift packages that I thought would be cute for um, planning when I'm purchasing gifts or even if I want to keep like a running tally of the people I need to buy gifts for for the holidays or really anytime and they are on the other side as well and then these were just really pretty and they have like can you hear that <laughs> these have um, like a little bit of glitter on them and I just thought that they were really pretty for spring obviously it's not spring anymore it is definitely fall weather here in the north but I thought these would be really pretty for the spring and I'm gonna hang on to them until springtime that was a lot of springs and then I also got some pumpkins and I know what you're thinking Emily you have way too many fall items but um, I need some stuff for November as well. Um, I do have some of that like turkey stuff for Thanksgiving time, but like in between like end of October and then before Thanksgiving, I'm gonna need some more like themed decorations. So I thought these would be kind of cute as just like fill in for certain other times, but I thought these are really cute. They're only $1.49 and they have pumpkins on the back as well. And then this, is like the piece de resistance. Let me see, I cannot even get it all in the frame. Oh my gosh, it's so long. These also have a little bit of glitter on them and I think these are just gorgeous. I'm going to be in Florida for the holidays so I'm definitely gonna use this while I'm in Florida. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of stuff there. There's gonna be a lot of family gatherings and things like that but honestly in my planner I'm not going to be utilizing a lot of like to do's and things like that I mean Christmas Eve I'm doing something Christmas Day I'm doing something and I'm just kind of chilling because I am on vacation so these will definitely take up like a full box these will take up like two boxes it's like on the bottom so I like that there's like a lot of space that's going to be used up so it's going to be looking like I have a lot to do even though I'm not doing anything so yeah so that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of fun showing you everything and you know, just showing you all the loot I've gotten recently. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you and I will talk to you guys very soon.